Greetings to you, whoever is watching this. My name is Dutch, and this is my brand new Minecraft Let's Play. So, I'm just gonna lay down the rules here. I will be playing on hard mode, as you can see here. Um, I am reasonably experienced at Minecraft, you could say, so it shouldn't really be any problem. Um, also, I'm not really going to explain things like how to play the game. Uh, I assume that if you're watching this that you actually play Minecraft and you understand how the game works. So, um, yeah, let's just get started here by collecting some wood. Um, this is not actually the first time that I attempted to make a Minecraft Let's Play. I think I... I did it like one year ago, maybe even longer than that. I've been playing Minecraft for a reasonably long time actually. I joined back when the game was still in the infinite development uh, stage, or infdev as it was then called. Which is basically, that was when infinite worlds, or well, technically infinite, not literally, but when they were introduced, so yeah, that's a pretty long time ago. I think it was in 2010 or something like that. I um, I actually got in contact with the game through a uh, webcomic that I'm sure a lot of you know about. It's called PG Cats, and it's basically a webcomic about basically lots and lots of video games. But yeah. Um, that's how I got into contact with it for the first time, but then I was like, nah, it doesn't really look very interesting. Then later, um, an online community that I am a part of, uh, I saw uh, a thread of people that were playing Minecraft, and I was like, huh, well, maybe I ought to check this out. So I joined a uh, creative world that the thread starter was playing in, and, well, that was kind of a strange experience actually because it was a uh, an unmoderated server so it never got cleared it was an enormous giant mess but you know that experience just playing it with someone and you know building stuff it really made me feel fell in, fall in love with this game Blech. really couldn't find my words there um, but yeah so eventually I decided to buy the game because well <laughs> Who doesn't want a snazzy skin like this? Um, and yeah, then I found out about Instev, which was actually pretty well hidden. Back when uh, Minecraft was still in early development, the uh, latest version was not always the easiest to find, because there was a link on the homepage that said, you know, survival. That was actually a really outdated version of it. So you had to actually know the the, uh, web, the URL to get to the infdev page, which was the regularly updated version of the game at that time. Which of course later got phased out for alpha and beta. But yeah, I started playing that and well, I just thought it was amazing basically. I, I got a lot of people into this game actually, almost single-handedly. Um, I was probably the only person in my entire high school year who played this game at that time and well let's just say a couple months later nearly my entire class was playing it so yeah I'm not trying to brag or anything like oh I'm so a hipster I've been playing Minecraft way before you guys have because that's lame you know I mean that kind of beats the point of you know Thinking game is great and telling people about it, and I'm trying to figure out where I'm where I want to go. But yeah, there's like in a lot of gaming communities, there's these people who are like, oh, I can't stand all these these noobs who are, who are playing the game and are ruin, ruining it for us, us good people who've been playing the game for two years. You know, it. I mean, I can I can get kind of where they're coming from. Because in some games, uh, people who don't know what they're doing can actually be very annoying. Um, I I used to ooh ooh a village, haha. Well, that's gonna make first night of survival very easy. But um, yeah, I used to play uh, a game called League of Legends, which I'm sure oh, perhaps lag. 
uh, which I'm sure a lot of you have heard about. And it's, well, it's a pretty competitive game. And especially, you know, the way I am, I when I play a game that is like a team game where, you know, the objective is to win, I, I really try to win. And just a lot of the time there were you would uh, get put into games with people who were either trolling or just really not trying to win the game and it can get really annoying so I guess that's where those kind of sentiments really come from but yeah in a game like Minecraft where it's just everyone trying to have fun in their own way and you know there's no real thing you can do to um, to ruin the experience for others other, other than griefing but the community has come up with lots of uh, solutions for that, and this village is kind of underwhelming, actually, but at least it'll give me a nice house. Um, really want to find some food and sheep. Sheep, 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 sheep. God, I swear, I, I've made Minecraft worlds where it put me in a biome without sheep, and that is so annoying. Um, I had to explore for freaking days before I finally found some sheep to be able to make a bed. Which is really annoying, because when you just made a world in Minecraft, you really can't do crap with that in the night, you know? I mean, yeah, you can't fight zombies and skeletons that well with a, just a wooden sword or a stone sword. Come here, chicken! chicken. Damn, should've made a sword. Um... Yeah, so that can get pretty annoying, and just, well, digging is not really my thing. I mean, I used to do it, but these days I really like to explore caves a lot more, and mm, there's some rendering issues there. Um, I'm actually playing on the latest version, um, uh, latest snapshot version of Minecraft, so those are the uh, development versions that are being released uh, every week before uh, 1.3 gets released on August 1st. Um, you know, um, in the latest uh, snapshots, they've been trying to merge the multiplayer and single-player experiences. So yeah, bugs like this, where parts of the landscape don't get rendered, are now also in single-player. But I'm sure that'll get ironed out soon enough. Oh well, maybe not soon enough, but eventually. Let's just keep it at that. Um, let's see, no sheep around here, huh? Oh well, at least I've got some food. Just need to get some stone. Damn, these chests are fast, jeez. Uh, stone? Give me your stone. Alright, I think I saw a cave around here somewhere. Didn't I? Oh, that was on the way. That wasn't... Um... I'll just dig a bit here. Da -da -da. So, yeah. It's, don't... Can't cut stone with a chicken. God knows. Um... I wonder how that will work. Um, so yeah, basically I'm going to... be... doing, uh, certain projects, at least that's my plan for this Let's Play, you know, maybe if people don't like it, I, I might do something else, but the general idea is that I'm basically just gonna get set up in the first couple of videos, you know, build a house, get some get some minerals and stuff like that, and uh, once I'm done with that, I'm just gonna, like, take on some projects, like, no, that'll work, for example, I might, um, uh, create uh, a, a sm bleh bleh. I might create an XP farm if I find a mob spawner or things like that and it's gonna be in a similar uh, vein to people like uh, Etho from Etho's lab where you know I'm gonna build some of these redstone contraptions during my let's play and it it could serve as some sort of a tutorial I'm not uh, I'm not really sure yet on how much I'm going to show of the process of creating these things, but eh, who knows, I may create uh, tutorials for the things I build if there's a high demand for it, which I honestly doubt because I'm just starting out, but who knows. 
Um, hmm, it's getting night time already. I really wish I would have found some sheep. I'm pretty sure they can spawn in uh, plain biomes like these. Hmm. Bad luck, it seems. Oh, there's a desert. And the pig. Good day, pig. How you do? Oh. Lag. Ooh, lots of piggies. Mmm, yeah. No sheep. Well, damn. Looks like I am gonna get the wooden... No, well, I have some stone. Looks like I am gonna have to fight zombies with the stone sword, because just sitting inside until it's live, well, that's just no fun. Alright then, let's see how far those chickens have progressed, because I'm getting pretty hungry, and I know sprinting doesn't help, but... Nah. Nah. You know. Ooh. Yes, in the snapshot you can actually get experience from cooking stuff, which I think is pretty neat. Um, the way they initially set up the whole experience system, I thought it, it stinks, basically. It took like, um, what was it, four and a half thousand experience in order to get to level 50, and that's just a ton. I mean, without experience farms, it's nearly impossible to do that. So now it only takes like... 800 experience to get to the highest level, which is 30 now, and you know, you can also get experience through mining <clears throat> mining and uh, cooking, and it's just a lot more pleasant in general. Um, don't have any leather. Alright. Um, oh, there's actually some reeds here. That's pretty useful. Mm, I don't think I'm gonna build my house. Actually, if I expand this village, I could get some pretty good trades with them. I might do that. I haven't really played around. Oh god. Oh yeah, they do that. Time to protect the village. Die, zombie. So yeah, as I was saying, I haven't really played around with villages that much, because I usually have pretty bad luck in my worlds where I just don't find any of them, but... So yeah, this is going to be fun. I mean, I, I've i played a lot of Minecraft, but um, there was like a period of a couple of months where I haven't played at all, and I just recently started playing again, actually. Uh, I'd say about three weeks ago or something. Oh, that, oh there's a raised plant there. Damn. Ah, damn. Would be nice if one of them dropped a bow, because they can actually do that. Um, I haven't had a skeleton drop an enchanted bow yet, but... Ah, well, what you gonna do? Hmm. Well, at least there's no more zombies. Let me just kill this one. Might attack the village. Critical hits! Critical hits! Yes, die. Ha ha, this the experience! Um, so, yeah. I am, uh, I am actually Dutch. <laughs> Which means I am from the Netherlands, so yeah, I'm European. And uh, is this supposed to be a bar or something like that? Or, I don't know. Um, yeah, I am Dutch. Um, I currently am in university. Um, oh, damn it! I'm in university. I I'm studying uh, computer sciences. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, I actually just, um, well, it's my summer holidays now, I passed the first year. Um, I did not pass all of my subjects, but that's not really a big deal, I can do them again next year, the ones that I didn't make, so, yeah. Like, the, um, the mathematical subjects, I'm, I'm not really that fond of. It's not that I find math very difficult, but... You know, in general, mathematic, uh, mathematics just takes a lot of practice in order to, um, yeah, actually get a grip of everything that you need to learn, and, well, I don't like practicing very much. So, thanks, skeleton. Die! No, not me, you. Yeah. Four arrows. It was my bottom bar. I need to check my answer. Um... Yeah, not really a big fan of making exercises in my free time, but I'm gonna have to do it if I want to pass next year. So, that's something to look forward to, at least. But, yeah. 
going, oh, I'm only halfway through the night. This is gonna be a bit of a drag. May as well get some more digging done down here. If I could find some coal, that would be nice. Do have to watch my back, though. If a creeper comes in here, I'm toast. And that's actually something I wanted to bring up. I'm gonna try not to die in this playthrough. Um, I The last single player world I made, I also played on hard mode, and the only time I died was when I underestimated uh, how strong cave spiders are actually in uh, when you're playing on hard, because that poison, it, it poisons you for 15 seconds, and that is a hell of a long time. And basically, whenever you're a, like a half a heart, anything can kill you. So, yeah, I kind of underestimated that last time, and, well, I died, but I plan not to do that this time, so I'm gonna see for how many videos I can keep up not dying. And, well, yeah, if I die, tough luck, I guess. Ooh, I would kind of... Oh, wait, I can actually... I can burn some logs. No, I played Minecraft for over two years yet. I don't even know if you can make charcoal. <laughs> oh, zombies. Frick. Must save the villagers. No. <laughs> oh, frick, creeper. Close the door. Okay. Um, hmm. hmm, let's see. Um, go I? Yeah, I have dirt. Okay, let's just try this. Okay, creepers seem to be over there. Okay, I'm safe, I'm safe, I'm cool. Um,. Alright, let's see here. Oh, there's lots of Endermen. I don't usually fight Endermen. I've never actually farmed Ender Pearls, but I am gonna do that eventually, because I do plan on killing the Ender Dragon in this Let's Play, which is actually something I've never done before. Um, I have found Nether Fortresses, so technically I could have gone um, Stronghold hunting, but no! Don't open the door. Do they like go after doors before they go after villagers? Because that would be funny. Because I opened the door and I think he still wanted to destroy it. Hmm. Weird. Um, let's just get three and two planks. There we go. But yeah, I am planning on killing the Ender Dragon eventually, if only if because that allows me to create an Enderman farm successfully, you know, without having to die to get out of the end, because that, that would be pretty pointless. Well, I guess, no, you wouldn't be able to take your stuff with you. Never mind, I'm just rambling. No more zombies? Hmm. Oh, this is a grind. <laughs> I kind of love how the zombies keep getting stuck in that well. You know, you'd, you'd think they wouldn't do that with the new uh, the new AI and pathfinding that not or well, notch not not notch Chev implemented that I think. But anyway, you wouldn't think that they'd do that, but apparently they're still kind of stupid. Uh, torches, yes, my nice sticks. Um, seems like a nice spot for that, yes. I kinda wonder why all the villagers are in that one building, though. But, eh, probably not really a reason for that. Just the game being wet. Oh, there's an Enderman behind here. I do not like those guys. Especially si Oh! God, what are they doing? What are they doing? I cannot talk. I think you'll find that in the future as well. I, I'm not the greatest at continuously talking, but I try, you know, and sometimes I uh, might get my me, get my tongue in a bunch, but 
it should be alright. What the heck are they doing? Well, whatever. I'm gonna try to kill these creepers. Oh! Do not, do not blow up. Oh, do not blow up. Do not blow up. Oh! Wah! Haha! -ha. I kill you! Oh god! Huh! Oh god, I was caught free there. Uh, yay, dirt. I always hate how when creepers make these holes, some of the dirt disappears so you can't fill them up completely. It just annoys the crap out of me. Cause... I will admit, I... I am not always successful at keeping creepers from exploding. At least not with a sword. And especially not while recording, cause... Um, my PC is not the greatest, so it does affect my performance. Not so much that I have to actually play in uh, low quality mode or anything like that, but what the heck am I doing? It's day. I need to be productive. Okay, let's go... Um, actually, may as well start a farm here. I got some... Yeah, I got enough for a bucket. Let me just take some water out of the well and... Oh, jeez, what the... Okay, I'm just gonna leave him alone. No need to uh, be... Uh, Afraid, right? It's it's just an ah, oh, there's no scare. Well, they don't really actually scare me because that would be silly. I I don't think Minecraft has ever really scared me. You know, just like jumping moments. I've seen some people who are actually afraid of Minecraft. You know, it really scares them, which I think is pretty funny. But yeah, I guess I'm not the most easily scared. I mean. I'm not a big fan of, like, um, horror films, you know, I, I can watch them, I can sit through them, and it's not like it doesn't scare me or anything, because, you know, the jump scares, even if they're pretty obvious, they always do get to you, but, yeah, it's just like when you watch a horror movie, I mean, there's no, um, no incentive to watch a horror movie twice, you know, because you already know all the scares, and... That's why I don't really like him. You know, I, I, I mean, I can enjoy a good thriller, because they, they usually have better plots than... God damn. My mouse is kind of broken like that, where it will sometimes double-click when I don't want it to. But... Oh God, I'm going to have to kill these guys. Oh do not explode. Oh wait, he's in water, actually. I don't think he can explode like that. He must be able to see me the entire time. Stupid creeper it can't explode. It's the only thing they can do. <laughs> yes, there we go. Okay, got some water. Oh god, I hate that. Freaking water physics. Um okay, let's just make a shovel actually. I really wish Mr. Enderman here would get out of my house. Oh, well, it's not my house, but the house. Same thing. Actually, need a hoe first and shovel. Shovel! Gotta love shovels. I always forget to bring a shovel when I go like caving or something. Really annoys the crap out of me when I hit a large. Uh, section of the cave that's full of gravel or dirt and I want to dig through it but I don't have a shovel because I really do not like using my efficiency pickaxes for that let's see nah this ought to do some water here this is actually something a lot of people don't realize but uh, whenever you put water down, and uh, basically four blocks in any direction of it, in a square, you can um, create fertile ground. So you can till the soil and crops will actually grow there. So I could go two more blocks in this direction and then go all the way up here and make this entire square into one big farm with just that single block of water there. Which I think is pretty neat. Kind of um, makes it so you don't have to have massive amounts of water when you're trying to make a farm. Which is always nice. I 
usually cover this hole up with something like a scarecrow, which I make out of pumpkins and sticks, but haven't found pumpkins yet, so gonna have to do that later. Um, I still have some food. Should actually not be eating it that soon. Um, let's see here. Let me just replant this over here. I kind of don't get how that works, because it can spawn on scope. Oh, huh. I remember not being able to plant, uh, is it sugarcane? Yeah, sugarcane on um, sand like that, but apparently you can now. Yes, that'll do. I um, I like to get a sizable sugarcane farm, because when it comes down to making an enchantment room, I often find myself without books, and they can be pretty tedious to actually get if you still have to make an entire farm for them. Okay, let's go see if we can... Wait, there was that cave over here. I hmm. think I'm gonna, gonna find that cave and then I'm gonna call it a day and next time we're gonna go cave exploring. Let's see, where was that? Ah, that was in this forest. Um, it's not a forest, that's a desert. Where that? Oh, no, damn it. I thought that was a cave. Did I come from the other side? Oh, can't believe I already forgot. Let's see if you can get these chunkers to go away. That's really annoying. Be gone! Yes, they do disappear once you get close, so it's not as bad as it can be in multiplayer, thankfully. I think it was over here, actually. It looks like a forest. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where I came from. Hmm, thought I saw something. Oh crap, I'm running out of food again. Really should stop sprinting. It's the thing when you usually play in a world where you have like an established food farm and stuff like that. <laughs> you continuously keep running, but not the smartest thing to do when you duh zombie. Don't have any food. Oh, look, just a kid. Ooh, that is not didn't sound very good. Ah, right, damn it. Cave, cave, cave. I would like a cave. Cave, cave. What's this? Oh, yeah, there we go. Alright, so um, next time we're going to be exploring this little cave here. I might actually get some better gear before I do that, because <laughs> I am going to need food if I want to go cave exploring, which I don't have right now. But, um, I'm going to do that in the intermission, and I'll uh, see you guys next time.